Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a DNS or web forward or just a, a different IP for any server that you might be using or if you want to just uh, reroute a web address. So um, the reason I'm making this video is because I remember wanting to do this when I hosted a Minecraft server and as a YouTuber I like to um, you know help others out with uh, problems that I may have had in the past. Anyways, getting to the point, um, you want to go to this URL, I will have it in the description, it's freedns.afraid.org. Okay, and once you're here, you want to go to Web Forward, and I'm logged in right now, so I just forgot about that, I'm going to log out real quick. Okay, so you want to go to web forward or subdomains, whichever one you choose, it'll just prompt you with a login page. And you want to click set up an account here. You fill out all this information. You're really not going to need to put your first name or your last name, your real first name or last name, just put some random thing. I honestly don't think any website should ever have that information, but it's up to you. And for a user ID, for example, mine would be like Utuma25, just username, then uh, password, email, security code, you get the gist. And then um, once you get the activation email, you open it up and it should activate it. You should be able to log in through this web page. So I'm going to log in through this account. I have multiple on here. so. And boom. Perfect. So now what you want to do is go to rev registry, my bad, and you have a huge list of different um, DNS servers that are, you're allowed to use. And the reason I say huge is because there's another 957 pages. <laughs> so um, you can pick any of these that you want. Um, most people including myself, prefer to use us.to if you live in the US or uk.to if you live in the UK. Uh, info.tm is a popular one, the biz one, but um, for this we're just going to use us.to. So you want to click on that. You're going to make this A, just leave it the way it is, 1A. The subdomain is going to be what you want to be in front of us.to, like my Minecraft server.us.to. Here, I mean, I don't know, this. you can change this in the future, but this is what people are going to be using to connect to your server. So, um, I'm just going to put a bunch of random stuff, because I don't really have a server right now. And this is my current IP, so you want to put your server IP inside of here. So, uh, whatever IP people currently use to connect to your server, you just paste that inside of there. You don't want to add a colon 25565 or any port. You don't need any of that. Leave this and this blank, and then um, just click Save. And boom, here it is, along with uh, the rest of the uh, subdomains that I have. I have, uh, I think this website limits you to five, but you can always make another account with them if you have multiple emails, and uh, or if you want, you know, if you're a good person, just uh, go premium, five bucks a month, whatever the fuck that is. But yeah, so here's this. This is going to take a little while to uh, set itself up because it has to connect to the DNS and do all that shit. Um, for well, currently, I think it's it usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Like back when I first started it, it would only take you know maybe five or ten. But something's been different about it. Um, I mean, I can try it right now. I don't know if it'll work though. It'll more than likely just redirect me to the us.to website. Or it just won't work at all, one of the two. Yeah, it's just not going to work. Oh, wait. I was thinking of a, a, web, a web forward, my bad. You'd have to um, use it through your Minecraft server. So you just uh, paste that inside of there, .us.to, and it should connect you to your Minecraft server. Um, I was thinking of a web forward, and that's an entirely different thing. But um, if you have a different type of port other than 25565, 
like 25575, something weird like that, um, you're going to need to add that port at the end of us.to to be able to connect. That's a uh, key factor. And if people are having trouble connecting through this after you have proven that it's been working, one thing I found that helps is to um, just, you know, add the 25565 port on it. Um, it's usually not needed, but sometimes it can uh, help people get through. I don't know why. Maybe just a cleaner connection. But anyways, this is all finished up, and um, you should be ready to go in 15 to 20 minutes. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, add me on Steam, add me on Skype, or anything that I have set up on my uh, YouTube page. So, uh, see you guys later.